Hi everyone, my name is Shay, and in today's video, I will be talking about my digital planning routine to help me be more productive this year. I will be using my iPad mini 5, and I will link all of the iPad accessories that I use down below. They're all from Amazon, and I'll be using some digital templates that I actually created, and I'm using them on the app GoodNotes 5. So let's go ahead and plan for March. So first off, when I open the planner, it opens to the daily planning page, and I start off with writing my affirmation for the day. Affirmations are really great because it helps you stay positive and focused and really sets your intention for what you hope to do or get done today. Then I go ahead and list off the appointments I know I have. These could be doctor's appointments, meetings, work meetings, or any other priorities you have at certain times throughout the day. Then I like to list out my to-do. So these could be things like doing laundry, going grocery shopping, just little things that I'd like to get done today but aren't necessarily priorities. Then I focus on top priorities, so things that I absolutely want to get done today. You can see here one of my priorities is making a dentist appointment, which we all hate those, but I've been putting it off for way too long. I also highlight it, and I like to highlight things that are the most important. I also have a water tracker and a mood tracker. If you're like me, you definitely realize that you are not drinking enough water throughout the day. So I just like to check off one of these little water icons whenever I drink a glass of water. And then at the end of the day, I use the highlighter to choose a color that represents my mood for the day. And then finally, I always like to give myself some credit for what I worked on that day. So I like to write a little positive note at the end of the day of things that I'm proud of that I accomplished. And then if I have extra space in my priorities box, I like to insert a little quote or photo or some little sticker that looks cute in there and inspires me or motivates me throughout the day. Then I like to move on to the weekly plan. I start off with the week's top priorities. So these could be meetings, deadlines, anything I just have to get done this week, non-negotiable things that I really need to focus on getting done at some point during the week. Then I like to go ahead and fill in meetings or appointments or anything that I know is specifically set for a certain day at a certain time and that won't change throughout the week. I also highlight really important dates or deadlines or things that I need to do. And then I go in and add little things that I'd like to get done on my to-do list. So things like editing videos, going grocery shopping, things that could potentially change. Then I swipe over to the month overview. These are just main deadlines or dates that are really important that I'd like to see in a calendar view. As you can see, March is written out actually in typed text. I go to this little text button and then I can just scribble with my pen the word that I want to appear in text. And you can see that it pops up there. And then you can just adjust the size like I did and move it around. Then I have important dates here or things that I want to get done before my move to Italy. As you can see, I'm leaving at the end of the month. If something changes, I really like this tool where you can just circle the text and resize or move it around. So let's say the date of something changes, I can easily just grab it, move it around to a new date. Then the planner includes just a whole year overview. So there's not a lot to write here, but again, I've just highlighted a few really important dates like my flight to Italy. And it's just nice to have a giant overview of 2022 as a whole. Moving on to the next page, I have a monthly reflection. I think reflecting on your progress or maybe things you didn't do well in the month is always helpful. So I have these different boxes where you can write about what you did well, things you'd like to improve next month, things to stop doing next month, and some of your biggest achievements because it's always important to celebrate some of your biggest wins. And then of course, there's a spot for some inspiration or motivation. Then I've also included a page for a workout plan. My boyfriend and I have been really good about doing workouts throughout the week. So I like to schedule out the workouts ahead of time. I really enjoy doing Pilates, yoga, and some strength or HIIT workouts. So I like to write out the type of workout as well as the amount of time the workout will take. And I do all of my workouts just from YouTube videos. I think it's important to take a few rest days as well. If you want to get really fancy, sometimes what I like to do is go ahead and take the actual thumbnail from the YouTube video and paste it in as a picture so you could have it mapped out like that.
And then I like to track how I feel throughout my workouts. Some days, you know, you have a really great workout. Other days you're feeling really blah. And if you notice that you're feeling like workouts are really tough or you really just weren't feeling good, maybe you need to take more rest days. Maybe you need to do less intense workouts. This could be a good way to track your workouts, see how you feel and see if you need to switch anything. Then I also included a meal tracker. My boyfriend and I will switch off nights cooking. So I really love to use the app Meal Lime. It's not sponsored, but it just has really great easy recipes to have a variety of meals. Meals are something that I plan out ahead of time. So you could use this as a plan for the week, or you could use this just to track what you've eaten throughout the week. Again, planning on the iPad is also really great because as I've showed you before, you can move things around. So let's say you have a plan for a certain dinner on a certain night, but then things change. You can always move it around. And then I also have a grocery list. I personally just put my grocery list on the notes app on my phone, but if you want to get fancy, this grocery list has everything grouped out by the type of food. So you can have your foods listed out by fruits and veggies, pantry items, frozen foods, dairy, etc. Then I also include a goal planner. So this could be used for any sort of big goal or project you have. I'm using it for the last month before my move to Italy. So you can see that I have milestones or deadlines with dates of when I want to make sure everything is done. I also have completed tasks and resources. So in this box, I've linked out to my Notion page, which I have an even more detailed look at my plans for moving to Italy. So it's really nice that you can link out to different things. And then you can see here that I just link out to this document and I have my moving to Italy plan. I also like this little progress box down here because I can use the highlighter tool to just fill in how far along I am on my way to my goal. And then I have this little picture of Bologna down here because I am so excited and I love this little inspiration pic that this will soon be my view of my new home. Just as I accomplish more tasks, I like to add them to the box. Then finally, I finish off with a habit tracker. This is used to track your habits that you wanna get done or stick to throughout the week. So these could be things for me, like studying Italian, taking my vitamins, making sure I'm drinking a certain amount of water, getting my workouts in. And then I just use the highlighter tool to color in the little bubbles of what days I did all of these things. That way at the end of the week, you can see how well you stuck to your habits and then you can also make changes for the following week, add more habits or try to stick to certain habits a little bit better. Like I mentioned, I have all of these available on my online store. So they are called productivity bundles. They're 10 pages and they come in a bunch of different colors, as you can see. So they're $5 and you can choose whichever color you like. They're all the same. So it's not like a different color has different pages and they're super easy. It's a digital download. So once you get it, it's a PDF and you can open it up in any sort of app on your iPad or your computer, or you could even print them out. So I will link that down below and be sure to check that out as well as some of my other products in my store. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all again very soon. Bye.